Hello and welcome once again in J unit series by one test solution. This is part five. In this session, we'll talk about how to do exception testing in J unit. Now, as far as the exceptions are concerned, what happens is when a developer writes a method for each negative input, it developer writes a method in such a way that it throws an exception. For example, if you look at this method withdraw, what happens is if a if user wants to withdraw an amount which is greater than account balance then it will throw an exception of type insufficient funds and with a message insufficient funds that will give user a better experience to understand what went wrong and what he was trying to do now this is one of the important aspects of the software development but from the testing standpoint sometimes we don't test exceptions in J unit, there is a way by which we can use annotation expected and uh, we can also try to test the exceptions. There are two types of validation that can be performed as, as far as the exception testing is concerned. One is the exception type. For example, in this method, the exception type, the exception that this withdraw method throws is insufficient funds exception. And the second validation that we can do is we can test the exception message because this is the message that user will see at his end. Okay, so now let's see how we can do this exception uh, testing. What I will do is I will go ahead and create a new test. And I will call this test as exception test. Test. Okay, for uh, if we want to write a test method, we used to write annotation at the rate test. So let me go ahead and write this first. Public void. I will call this as uh, validate withdraw exception test. We'll go ahead and import this annotation. Okay. Now, so if I want to write this test, so let's go and read this uh, method again. What it does it, it throws an exception of type insufficient funds, funds exception. So what we'll do is, we'll go ahead and uh, implement this method with this throws insufficient funds exception okay now here we are seeing error the reason is we we have to go and use annotation here expected now what it is going to expect expected is equals to this class now if you see this insufficient funds exception so there is a separate class so we will use the same here It expected is equals to insufficient funds exception dot class okay now look like there is spelling mistake here expected okay now what we need to do is next control shift We have to import this as well now let's go and write our test so what we used to do is we used to make a class of uh, object of bank operation class bank operation on as uh, let's say customer goes to new bank operation let's import this class too Now we'll call this method customer dot withdraw. And here we are trying to 
withdraw amount that does not exist so let's say thousand dollars okay now what will happen is this method if this method is going to throw the exception then only this method will pass and if you look at the behavior of this method if amount is greater than balance okay then this method is supposed to throw this exception and we had um, this test initial balance is always zero right so that means the, for this test the balance will be zero and the customer is trying to withdraw thousand dollars now if this method throws an exception then only this test is going to pass okay so let's run this test run as j unit test okay now this test is passed that means the exception is thrown okay let's uh, do this way i will do minus ten dollar run this test now you see the this test is failed because the exception was not thrown okay so we have to test this method the, the result is going to be positive when the exception will be thrown let's run this again okay now other type of validation that we can do is we can use the type of message that uh, user is going to get so if you look at this here the message is insufficient funds so what we can do is we can implement rule and rule can actually help us testing the accept, uh, exception messages. So in order to use the rule, we have to use annotation at the rate rule. Then we will go ahead and create one rule. So write public, let's say accept, accepted exception thrown is equals uh, expected exception dot none dot none okay we have to go and import this control shift o import rule Public expected exception thrown is equals expected exception dot none. Okay, now okay. And then, so this is how, this is the rule that we set. Okay, now we will go and write our test at the rate test write public I will copy the same name validate withdraw exception test exception I will write it message test okay it's also going to throw the same exception Just to play that modifier okay now here what we need to write is we need to write thrown dot expect so what are we going to expect class so exception class so exception is our insufficient funds exception dot class so I will write this okay now if class throws this except this exception then it will pass now other validation that we can do is we can go ahead and validate the accepted um, exception message so again thrown dot expected message you see here expected message and you write the message that you are expecting so let's say i want uh, the message which is coming 
as an ex in this exception is insufficient funds go ahead and write this funds and then you can go ahead and write the same test i'm going to copy paste to save some time okay now if you run this test this test is going to validate the exception message as well this time ms j unit test <coughs> okay see but this test is pass now let's say i'm going to change this message to make sure the test fails say not accept okay now what i'm in this test what i'm trying to validate is this that this method withdraw throws an exception with a message as not insufficient funds and we know that this is not the right message that method is showing so once i run this test this test is supposed to fail this time okay you see here exception message test is fail and if you read this message it will say it, it was expecting not sufficient funds but the actual message has sorry but the actual message was insufficient insufficient funds so this is how we can do the validation of uh, the exception message as well okay so now we have seen this test except for exception testing first test we made where we have used the annotation expected which actually tests tests whether the message whether the method is going to throw the exception or not second test that we have seen where we have validated the expected message as well along with the expect expectation uh, sorry exception type this can be implemented using rule so here we have set up one we had set up one rule ex, ex, expected exception thrown is equals expected exception dot none okay thank you so much for watching this video additionally you can go ahead and subscribe our channel for latest updates and free videos thank you